within the priesthood uh, that actually his, his, both from his experience and then from his research, uh, he's found that only 50% of priests are actually celibate. Yeah, that's, uh, a that line, that's a line you guys bring out in the movie. Yeah, and so he's, he's done a fair amount of research to back that up, not to mention his own personal experience when he was a priest and actually taking confession from other priests. Um, and in fact, uh, you know, according to Richard, uh, you know, not only is it true that only half of priests are actually celibate, um, but also that, um, you know, everyone sort of knows about it. And so everyone's effectively leading a double life within the priesthood. Well, uh, half. Where, you know, <laughs> uh, half. well, no, no, because, you know, there are the folks who are actually not celibate, right, who are keeping the secret. But then it's the other folks who are celibate who actually know about it. So everybody, either they have a secret or they know about the secret. And so it's this sort of, uh, you know, unspoken truth. And the problem is when they find a pedophile in their midst, right, it's another guy with a secret. Now, it's a much worse secret, right? But, you know, because they have a secret too, there is hence a, 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 a there's more of a push to protect. And there's more of a, you know, that they also have more at stake, you know. And, and there are stories, you know, Mike Rosenda has told me stories, and I can't remember which diocese, but where, you know, they had this pedophile who was notorious, who they just kept circulating because he threatened to out the fact that the bishop was gay and carrying on a relationship with the partner, a, a, a long-term partner. 